hello guys my name is jenny so guys in today's video is about mr sunday ibohu's house attack and why all those first class kings in yoruba land have not said anything or anything like about it so guys if you've not heard what happened on thursday dss carried out a midnight attack on the resident of sunday Ibohu. Sunday Ibohu is, is a Yoruba human rights activist and um, so they attack his residence in Ibado, Oyo State, Nigeria which um, resulted in the death of two people and I think they arrested like 10 people or more and they even arrested his cat, you can imagine they even arrested an innocent animal that don't know anything happening within human whatever so and one of the people that died is um mr sunday's right hand man dss i think they try they shoot him for several times he didn't enter so they have to butcher him that they they matched him for like 48 times so what really marveled me is after killing these people they still carry their dead body they want chopper like what is nigeria really turning into anyway i'm i'm so i'm glad and happy that um mr sunday was not um arrested i'm happy at least he will live to fight another day you understand so what marveled me now why i'm shocked is why are all these first class kings in yoruba land they have not said anything have they been bought just like they bought the ohanes and Dibu? Eh? why are like when i was growing up uh, we used to have this respect for kings like if something is happening if a king come out ha, a king hardly come out when a, when when an incident happen a king all these kings will be the first people to come out to talk but right now things have really changed like it's as if the governors um are now talking like taking in charge of people's community people's villages like the heads the heads of the village you don't have a mouth again or because they they are now dancing to their tune or because m many kings now are taking bribes that's why they cannot speak when they are supposed to speak they can't because they have already collected money so i'm still shocked that yoruba yoruba land in a whole have a lot of first first class kings like only of ife land he has not said anything even um um adeyemi oba of oyo town none of them have like spoken to talk about or to like say something about this thing let them just come out to condemn it that is not good that what they did to this guy's house is not good. None of them, even um, this, um, is what they call it, Awajeli of Ijabu, Kayode, Oba Kayode, they have not said anything. Those people that I, I hold in high esteem in Yoruba land, um, Olu, uh, Olu Ibada, they have not really like, come out open and condemn this attack. Even um, Oba of um, Oshon State, Oba of on those states they call Gilo three or something. None of them have come out to condemn this attack. Um, even um, um, this king of Akre Kingdom, the Deji of Akre, none of them. Gabriel Adekunle, all these first class kings in Yoruba land, they have not really come out to condemn this act. Like this guy is fighting for all Yoruba nations' freedom. And this can, this is exact this is the, the the as in this is the exact thing that happened to Nam de Kano. Like was it 2015 or yeah, around maybe 2015. They came to his house. Thank God he escaped that time. They attacked his home, killed a lot of people, his his families, his relatives, his friends, people around. Even in the course of that, he lost his both parents. So this kind of thing, I think that time, that time it, when it happened to Nandikan, a lot of people, a lot of prominent Igbo people came out to talk. That time they have not been bought, but I think right now all of them have been shot up with money. 
yeah because most of them are planning to become president of nigeria or whatever post they are planning for them to give them that was why the this current rearrest of nam the canon of them is talking because they have been bought but that initial time the attack happened in nande carlos home in um here abia state a lot of prominent people came out to condemn the act but right now this this yoruba guy fighting for oduduwa kingdom he's not doing it for himself alone after all he's he's not a young guy again like he's not that young 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 you know he's doing it for the next generation and those ge next generation are those kings um all those everybody in yoruba land your generation will partake in this blessing in this freedom if actually they actualize it you understand but i wonder why this kind of attack like what they did is no good what stop um nigerian government or dss to just call this guy come to our office we need to talk then you how can even if it's normal um normal arrest how can you arrest somebody like you want to arrest someone and you're you are coming around 1 a.m 2 a.m in the morning to arrest someone what like which office is open by that kind of time if you if you want to arrest somebody he has a lawyer or you want to question him he has a lawyer there are some procedures to do things but no nigeria government are so corrupt like this um buhari government is so corrupt they want to force everybody to dance to their tune there is this guy this islamic scholar is he gummy or i don't know what his name is he's been all over the place saying things and they, none of them are arresting him why because he's, he's their own he's a full man you will see on television you see like facebook go to facebook go to twitter you see these guys with gone claiming to be um um gang whatever fulani people um islamic whatever whatever coming on national television to talk that they have killed so many soldiers they have killed so many people that they have kidnapped so many little children they have kidnapped so many um school children they have killed people farming and all that and all these um our side leaders are there begging them laughing with them shaking hands with them drinking with them giving them money celebrating them coming out to talk but immediately is a biafran or a yoruba person that just we want our freedom isn't is it a bad thing god uh, anywhere lord do that is a uh, god will punish him now this lord look at carry us join together with these people that behaves like cows honestly these outside people behaves like cows they they no good even to carry them join with human beings the way they reason they reason like eh, a newborn baby that was born in a, a, a and a day old baby is ha in fact a day a day old baby even have sense more than them everything they want is just them them you can imagine this um chief um justice of nigeria was addressing nigerians in our our language you can imagine you can imagine the kind of mentality they have so what am i trying to say is why are all these yoruba kings not coming out to condemn the attack on sunday Ibohu? are they scared or are they scared because they are benefiting something from the government just like the ohanez ndibu they shut up whatever is happening to Nandekalo or whatever is happening to Biafrans is none of their business as far as it's not, it has not touched their family members. None of them is talking. All the people we are saying they are our kings. What's the need of having kings if something happens and kings of the land, the Obas cannot come out to talk? What is the need of having them? So I think they are just scared or they are scared of what they are going to lose because they are not straightforward yes many of them visit the asorok the governor's lodge and all that they wine and dine with them yeah but when something is going wrong a king is meant to talk is it because governments are now paying them money is it because governments are paying them salary mind you it's not the governor's it's not the president that is paying you it's still the citizens money they are using to pay all those kings Maybe, I think since they started paying them all those big, big money, that's when they started acting as, acting like what I don't know. They don't respect the culture. They don't do, they don't know what and what they are supposed to do. They don't know when and what they are supposed to, when they are supposed to talk. Because money is ruling them. They are money. 
government is pumping them with money not to talk like when has it become bad like let's assume you um you call somebody to be your um your apprentice and the person wake up one morning and said i don't want to be an app i don't want this apprenticeship again i want to stay on my own the person has the freedom to do that so just like oduduwa nation is asking for for freedom just like the beer france is it easy i don't want to be your friend again i don't want to be with you as your brother now batting go your own make i go my own now waiting they cause all this problem oh oh boy like i'm tired of what is hap currently happening in nigeria and one thing that marvels me is a lot of yorubas are saboteurs a lot of Igbos are saboteurs why this freedom is going to like your generations who will, will benefit from them we have a lot of saboteurs in Igbo, even yoruba because you don't tell me it's not somebody that told this um dss that sunday Ubu, um, is in that house because from what i had he he hardly slept there. He slept. He slept there once in a while. So that means it's someone that knows that he's there that night that told these people. We should stop sabotaging people that is fighting for our, for freedom. It's not really only for us. It's for our generation to come, that will benefit from them. Will you be happy as when you turn to an ancestor, and wherever you are, you'll be seeing that your generation are still suffering because of what you could not do will your spirit be at rest no so let's just um rethink this um let's just rethink since our kings are not coming out to speak we have to do something we have to stop betraying ourselves we have to learn how to trust each other if you want to achieve freedom i know it will get a lot of sabotage or what the, is it sabotage or sabo sabo or anyone but anyway, Sha, I don't really know what I'm saying again. Um, if you have anything you want to say, just drop it on the comment section. And thank you guys for watching. And everybody should stay safe. Eh? Yeah, I love you guys. Bye.